Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens. In this episode, we're doing an unboxing of Sovereign of Discord, 1961-1963. This is yet another Fire in the Lake expansion for the... I think uh, Fire in the Lake has the most expansions of all the coin games. Uh, this is, I think, the third, fourth expansion? There's a lot of expansions for this game. So this takes us to the early days of the war, um, or the early history of Vietnam, I should say. Uh, during the Sovereign of Discord. So let's take a look, a quick look at what you get in the box. All right, so this one we've got here is a boxed expansion. Some of the others were bagged, if I recall correctly. And we have videos for those unboxings on the channel. If you want to watch those and watch the whole the whole series unfold before your eyes. So, as noted, it's an expansion. A copy of Fire and Lake is required to play this expansion. So, we start out with the expansion rules. And this is a short, let's see, 16 pages. And the scenarios start on page 12. Right there is a four-player scenario, a two-player scenario. Well, that's cool. You can just play a two-player game without having to worry about the other factions. The booklet, this booklet includes rules used in all the Sovereign of Discord scenarios that add or amend to those in Fire in the Lake or presented in like order following the same numbering but with a P in front of the rule number. So P1-2 is going to give you the components that add to the main rule book. So this has... Um, victory is described on page 9, so it's just about nine, eight, 8 pages of additional rules, give or take. Full color, uh, great GMT uh, matte finish stock. Um, go from there. These are new terms that you might have going on, and they're all highlighted. Special rules notes. So then we've got the Min Mang. Hope I'm not saying that incorrectly. Please forgive me if there's any Vietnamese watchers that I'm mispronouncing. Min Mang, card based non player rules and reference. So this is going to introduce a another card-based uh, AI to play in this one versus the pre-existing flowcharts that uh, that coin is famous for. So this basically follows the same rules. I mean, excuse me, the same uh, stylistic guide of modifying the uh, existing solo rules. P811, you know, it has a P before it. That means it overrides or, or expands on that rule section. Um, so when this is used, let's see. The NP, ARIVN, and, in, and uh, the non player Arvin and non player Viet Cong each have six regular size Ming 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 Mung cards that provide instructions for selecting and execution operations and special activities. Non player US and non player NVA each only use a single card for this purpose. So their options go a little less. So this is, again, a lot more dense text describing how to use the AI. And then there's some examples here of the cards and how you would use them then we have our playbook this is a huge playbook it's 48 pages and it covers a multiplayer example of play background articles event event card descriptions you know the usual great gmt in-depth learning your history kind of thing here's all the different cards and what's going on about it the background on them so it's really dense but it's more of a reference it's not something you're just going to sit and read unless you just really like reading that kind of stuff all right then we have a punch board here of a uh, initiative track a regime stability track that goes off to the side and those are your know, regular counter card stop or uh, chipboard then we have our Hanoi track. This is, track, this is sheet one. So you use this as the rules dictate some extra counters that you're gonna need for that. Cadre, uh, regime, regime stability on track. 
Viet Cong victory markers, U.S. victory markers, NVA, and Arvin victory, uh, uh, victory point markers, and it tells you when they achieve a victory. Uh, and then you got some spare counters in here as well. And we've got this one, which has the Washington track. Don't make this come over here, which we may or may not should have. Anyway, I don't know. Anyway, the Washington track. And then some extra counters. And then there's something here with the errata from the second edition. And then these are just some spare counters. And then lots of blank counters that you can use to make your own if you want to. Then we've got our reference cards. Should be four of these, there usually are. So four copies of the different operations that each faction can use. Those are on coded cardstock, and they are double whip. And there's one for each faction. RV, United States, Viet Cong, and North Vietnam. Then we've got a glossy sheet here. Glossy uh, coated cardstock, Sovereign or Discord, Coup Round. How to play that out. In the fall of Deem sequence, DM. And you get four copies of that. Nope, you just get two copies of that, looks like. And then the Min Mong, Min Mang four player, non-player aid card for playing in the four player game. It's got the different actions and the priorities. And it's also on the coded double whip cardstock and the event cards. If they're critical, if they perform it, if they do not execute it or see the event instructions table based on this grid here. And then, we have the non-coup around instructions and the different event instructions for what the uh, four player in the four player scenario. A lot of reference cards here. Bonus event instructions, reference card. The two player Deems War scenario, 1961 and 1963. Give that instructions for that. For the Arvin and the Viet Cong. And then the Men Mong Deems War non player A card when you're playing the two player scenario. So you'd play one side and the AI would play the other. All the references you need for that. And we've got a bag of bags. We have some markers, look like little houses. And then we've got our uh, AI reference cards for all the different factions. And then we've got our event cards, decks of event cards. We're not gonna open those. So we've got Insurgency in Vietnam. These are some cards for Fire in the Lake that I guess you add to if you want to add this to a game of Fire and the Lake, start it early. And then you've got the Sovereign of Discord uh, deck that you'll use for playing Sovereign of Discord. So if you pick up a copy of Sovereign of Discord expansion for your Fire in the Lake collection, you are going to get these two decks of cards, one to insert into Fire of Lake and one for playing Sovereign of Discord by itself. You're going to get the uh, AI Minmong reference cards. You're gonna get a bag of wooden houses in orange, a bag of bags for storing your stuff. You're going to get the Minmong two-player game reference card. You're gonna get the non-player coup round instructions for playing the two-player. You're gonna get the bonus event instructions reference card, the non-player coup round instructions for playing the four-player game the four-player AI reference card. You're gonna get two copies of the Sovereign of Discord coup round reference and the Fall of Deem sequence. You're gonna get four of the player operations guides, one for each player that covers all the factions and the different operations. You're going to get several reference boards here and a few counters. The Washington track, the Hanoi track, and then you've got this uh, small little initiative track and regime stability track. You get the 48 page Sovereign of Discord playbook, which is a reference guide. And then the 
AI reference guide rule book. It's 24 pages. Uh, 20, yeah, 24 pages. And the 16 pages, say 16 pages? Yeah, 16 page Sovereign Discord expansion rules that augment the rules for the base game for playing the Sovereign of Discord scenario and expansion. And that is everything that comes in, say it again, Sovereign of Discord 1961 to 63 expansion for Fire in the Lake from GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you and bye-bye. Oh!